This is a little different of a video, a POV. I'm gonna be cooking a butternut pasta. I know that sounds weird. Uh, weird that I'm even doing a video cooking butternut pasta. But I tell you, this is really tasty anyway. Just because I was surprised, and I'm also running out of video ideas, so my upload of once a fortnight might get pushed back. But I did have this as an actual idea anyway. Let me get everything ready. Also, this butternut's so hard to cut, I just realized from last time I made this. So I might have to whip out a big boy knife. All right. So, first off, we are gonna cut the butternut. Uh, before cutting it, we're gonna skin it. And then I'm gonna boil it. And basically, this is gonna replace the tomato sauce uh, for the pasta. And let me put on something, because I can't put on music because it's gonna get copyrighted. Uh, oh, these are some great artists too. Uniquely yours. No. Mm, oh, you know what? I listen to philosophy. We'll throw on philosophy. Uh, philosophize this. Sure. Uh, what was I on? I don't know. That all played. Uh, satire and Camus. The quest for certainty. Yep, fucking sure. <laughs> oh man, I love this guy. Anyway, let's get the butternut into this pot as quickly as you can, because it's going to take a while. Now, I should just preface that I'm probably going to be between projects while this is cooking. I'll probably be trying to make this camera case. Uh, for reference, the camera case that I'm making is this right here. Uh, so concept that's an old lens that I got anyway but I want to make it specifically just for the camera so it's going to be between project here but mostly the butternut pasta that I'm going to be making POV butternut POV pasta yeah, let's get the big one. Oh, and then I also need to skin it so where is the metal one there it is uh, and I need something to stir the pasta. Um, I could put that out. Oh. And the reason why I only got half is I'm pre-prepping only half for the week. Because last time I made a little bit too much butternut and not enough pasta. It's just fine, I suppose. It's just, there was just, yeah. The proportions weren't exactly great. I'll go with that. Yeah, let's just cut the sides. We'll cut the sides a little better. It's probably losing a little bit too butternut on that, but that's fine. And for the pasta, we're using the curly pasta, so spirals. It's just some leftovers here. Okay, let's skin this bad boy. And I really love philosophy, especially when I'm uh, doing cooking. Makes you think a little bit more because you're trying to think about what you're food that you're making, because I'm usually making something new. And then also, thinking about people as well. So I think it's a nice juxtaposition. I would hate to be a chef. You know, work in hospitality, but I would hate to be a chef. I'll be honest with you. I mean, do I think I could do it? I think I could do it. I think I'd be a cook, but no, not as a career. I think I'll go crazy. Unless it was like a really classy restaurant and I was like a really fucking good chef. And you know, the staff was good, you got respected. In that case, yeah, 
Okay, take a look. I don't need a higher position, I just, you know, would want a good place to work. I think that's what's keeping me at my job mostly at the moment. Not that I'm not looking at other jobs, but. Okay. Yeah, so you're probably realizing now that I don't actually listen to the philosophy all the time. But right now I'm just trying to occupy the time. But I do listen to it. And if I wasn't recording right now, I'd probably be thinking actively a lot more about what he's talking about. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to take out the seeds as well. Alright, cool. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Take up. That's hard. We can never be certain about anything, realistically. Yeah. On. You're probably not going to hear the philosophy now. Right, let's get this kettle on because that should speed it up. We've got some hot water in there. Anyway, when we cut all this up, try and get this nice and thin, I'm gonna drain the water. So I'm, tr I'm trying something a little different. I'm gonna drain part of the water and then I'm gonna blend it up. I blended it up last time. That's, I mean, how you get the puree. Like with tomato, I mean, you put it in a, uh, it's like a type of tomato sauce, but just with, I don't know. Right, looking good here. Okay, it's gonna get loud, so you probably won't hear me. But maybe I'll speed this up. I only got two hours of recording, I just realized, so. Um, obviously this isn't gonna take two hours, but we'll see. I might forget to hit stop. And for the spices, I'm going to be using a mix, um, mostly salt. So I recently discovered that I don't put enough salt in meals. And it's not because like I love salt, it's just because the eight flavors um, are dependent on salt. And I didn't realize that. I was listening to um, another chef talk about, oh, what was it? I forget what it was, he was talking, I think it was philosophy, something, <laughs> probably on YouTube. And he was just referencing that not enough people, he, he was referencing him being a chef. And how in average kitchen households, oh that's it, white people food. He was talking about white people food. And he's basically saying, oh, what's the, um, you know, why is it so looked down upon? Because in the world of spices, obviously a white person's food like this, it would probably just be, you know, literally just um, boiled butternut and then no spices on top which I'm not going to do anyway and so for those meals he basically said that they uh, a lot of households don't use enough salt 
and it just made me wonder, it's like, oh, okay, you know what, maybe I'll put extra salt in, in my next dish, which was fish and, um, oh, what was the other one? Fish and sweet potato mash. And my God, I put like what I would consider quite a lot, but it turned out insanely well. The fish was exceptional. Um, the sweet potato was pretty good as well. It was a lot better than I thought. And I put some other stuff with the sweet potato, obviously, but the fish was just salt and, and pepper. I didn't go heavy on the pepper, but the salt, I went pretty fucking heavy. And oh my God, that was, that shit was so good. And I'll be honest, I, I think I'm convinced now. I want to get other salt because we are, uh, we're going to be running out of salt pretty quick, I reckon, if I'm, if I'm going to be using that much. A couple of seconds on the ground, that's fine. So I'm kind of recovering from a cold, or going through a cold right now anyway as well. I don't know what's going on. I uh, had, a, had a trip recently down, literally like yesterday I came back, I think it was. Or the day before, no, yesterday I came back. And I was in down on the Coorong for about a day and then slept at a friend's place at Monado for the night. And, uh, well, this is, I could have cut this better, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, I really want to make sure this cooks quickly, so that's why I'm like really chopping the shit out of it. And it's really hard to cut, I'll be honest. Not gonna lie. Very difficult to cut. Oh, there's more pieces. That's fine. Look, it's all gonna boil anyway. The shit will get boiled out of it. So we'll put a little bit in here. There we go. And we'll pop all like this. Down the bottom. This is already boiled. Throw it up a little bit. And I should mention this is right now when I should be putting the salt in. And when I mean salt, I really mean fucking load that shit in there. So this is why I want other salt because this salt, yeah, I mean, I want to be able to like, throw salt in anyway. Next time I go shopping, I'm getting two lots of different salt. One for the shaker, or the that, and then one I can just throw in. But nonetheless, this is going to be tasty as. And the thing is, okay, so I referenced beforehand that I'm pre-prepping, so I'm going to do this for work, but I might eat one. I'm not sure because I got other food they're going to pre-prep, like a salad and some wraps. So those might um, be the main ones today. I'll either decide to eat one of those tonight or I will eat one of those for a dinner at work. Um, I prefer, I honestly would prefer eating this for dinner. But since I'm making this first, it's probably gonna, I don't know, it's 50-50. I might eat it now, I might eat it later. The salads won't take long to make anyway. So if I make this and then make the salads, so it shouldn't be too much time, it won't get too cold. Okay, that's pretty good. And there we go. I'm gonna put more water in in a moment. See, that even that's a lot of butternut. Last time I had a full butternut in there as well. Well, you know what, and <laughs> last time I had way too much butternut. This, this still looks like way too much. Okay, we can go on. So yeah, I'm gonna drain a lot of this water before and, but for now, I we'll want it to cook. Throw it on high. The rest of the salt in there. And then I'll throw on the pasta uh, in a moment because this is gonna take a while. I want it to be really, really good. Oh, oh. excuse me. Ugh. I'm a little hungry right now as well. I've been snacking so much the past couple of days because that trip down on the Koorong, I've been just like took a bunch of snacks. Uh, 
but I'm out of snacks now, I think. Oh, you know what I do have? I have the, I'm looking at what's mine. I have these, I haven't tried these before. Interesting. Black rice crackers, let's see what these taste like. All right. Press one if you think this is gonna taste like crap. Press two if you think this is gonna take like a normal rice cracker. Ah. Number two, normal rice cracker. Mmm. Maybe with white and black rice, okay. I'm only saying mmm because I enjoy normal rice crackers. So that's not bad. Oh, I've got some dip here. I think. I'm not sure. Like that. Mm. Potentially. Also, it's kind of Um. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I had dip. This is tzatziki gone. Mate. Oh, that's someone else's anyway. Well, I might still want to use it. Okay. Alright, going well. Oh, real well. No, that's what I meant. So, more salt. Okay. And I'll just keep going back every time I want to uh, stir something, I'll consider adding salt. Whew. Now, so, oh, I get the pasta. Get the pasta going. I went throw it on, on, but I'll throw it on. I don't know how much I want. Let's just decide how much is in here, and then we'll go from there. My assumption is they're both going to cook the same in here. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is cooked crush. Oh wow, it's like a reusable. Oh, okay. Re resealable? Resealable. So, where do they... Do they want us to take it here? Or the sides? I've just never seen this before. I'm assuming they want us to open it up like a, like a bag. Oh yeah, oh, okay, cool. I'm down for that. Oh, got the cameras on my head. POV moment. I have to be careful. Oh, check the pasta. Yeah, the pasta's coming along nice. That's really close. It's about to overflow. That's fine. And let's see it open. Let's see what we got here. Now, with the sage, I want like, or just the leaves at the top, so. That, that. And some of the small ones I'll just leave out because I can use them for other stuff in a moment, and I'll show you what I mean. The stems will leave. So just mostly the leaves I want. And basically, this will be the garnish. I'm just pre-cooking the garnish. Uh, fine. And the rest will go in the butternut. So, uh, I almost could do butter in this as well, but yeah. I'm not, we're running a little bit short on time, not gonna lie. It's like all oil. I've got more oil in here but I just need to get it out. It's clean. Yeah. These big ones are the ones that I want as well. Okay so this, everything here. Start sprinkling around and this will cook just like this. That's exactly how I want it. I'm gonna throw it out. Oh. And it was nice. 
this knife. Well, these are all vegetables anyway. Don't touch any meat or anything else. Now we're gonna put a lot and put all the onion in here. I mean this onion needs to be used first off and second off. There's gonna be a lot of pasta and butternut anyway in this, so it's gonna be fine, I reckon. And I wanna finally, finally chop this. And this will go with the bell pepper as well. Yeah, by chopping ability could always be better, I'll be honest. This is why I'm not a chef, <laughs> honestly. Okay, there we go. That's, that's about all that. And yeah, that's, see, because these are already green now, like quite prominently green. I've got to take them out. Yeah, we'll put them on. Just anything. It's done. I can hear them cooking. Now, I don't want them burnt or anything as well. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. Ugh. Live life on the edge. So we'll just take all this out. Anyway, drain it a little bit. It was hot, that's fine. Um, mm. ah, kind of it. Now, the thing is, I don't mind if I leave a little bit in there because it's just going to be garnish. I'll rush them to stay in there. Let's get the big pieces. Any that are really lookers, I'll try and take out. A little bit inside, there you go. Yeah, let's, uh, I don't know, I'll take these. There's so much oil everywhere. It's fine. Now, I think this is... That's almost like a dente. It's great. Right, I'm gonna throw these in. this and then I'm going to do the rest of this pepper as well. I'll do that one a little later so more of it's going to be cooked and then others are going to be less cooked. Totally not me. Uh, combined effort. In this. Okay, that can take more time at once. I'm gonna throw that off because that looks like it's uh, so we done. Also, right, let's throw this down here. So I'm just gonna drain a little bit of it. Not all of it. It's still not enough. Uh, that's enough. It's gonna be, I like it a heavy consistency anyway, so I guess this is up to preference, personal preference. But I reckon that's a good level of consistency for me. Because I had it watery and it was, uh, it was tasty, but I just, yeah, I like, I just like 
more, more consistency. Oh yeah, that's really well cooked. Oh, I forgot my roll already. Salt. Salt in here. Salt in here. Well, and definitely salt in here. Now, I know it's turning out like a mash. That's, that's fine. I can always add more water later anyway. If I really wanted to. And I think I might. But for now, look, either way, this is easier to blend up. Now, the reason why I leave it not, um, what is it? The reason why I leave it to cool down is because first, I don't want to ruin the pan, to, uh, the pot too much. And then number two, it's not gonna be like splashing hot water around everywhere too. But mostly because of the, the pan. Now that's a really good consistency. I'm really good with that, but happy with that. Um, where's that? Do not have a spoon here? Oh, it's in there. Um, yeah. I just wanna see, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's, that's really good. The salt, mm, a little bit more salt needed, I reckon. Mm. Was, yeah, it's like 50-50. I'm getting like salt bits in there, but there's more. Might throw some pepper in here too, but for now, no. Okay, let's come back to that in a moment. And we'll just gonna throw this up a little bit more. We need this other bell pepper cup. And that might be how much we use. Okay, so I just realized my battery died. Of course it died. But, <laughs> look, I don't know where we're up to, but I put the pumpkin in. I'm probably gonna add some water as well for the consistency. Um, because it's very thick at the moment, but this is the pumpkin sauce and I put the pasta in I have the bell pepper in and then also the onion as well. See that's a little bit too thick for me even um, And I said I like it thick as well so, um, mm. There was something else in this I can taste that. I'm not gonna use that one and There you go A cup of water Probably like quarter or half yeah, I reckon that's enough actually. And you just boom, throw that in. I don't want it too, too saucy. That's the thing, because like, with tomato sauce, sure, I'll have it saucy, but this is just like, it's creamy. Like it's, it adds a, it's like, the creamy effect of it is, is what gets me. Look at that, look at that. And I was just gonna remind, so what, sets me off about the hour mark is this podcast so philosophize this if it goes if, I, if I've gone through two episodes it means it's been an hour and it has gone through two episodes so it has been an hour oh yeah these are great tasty all right so what I'm gonna do now is more salt in there I think we're out of salt now. I can I can feel nothing else left. And I don't think we have any salt in here as well. Pepper. Yeah, I'm out of, we're out of salt. I should have got more salt. So, well, and we're gonna put the pepper on anyway, so. But yeah, it should be looking pretty fly. I 
Throw it on low. Just let them cook. Just let it cook. What is this talking about? Relationships? What is this? This is satire and and Camus. So it's part six. How many episodes did you guys through? Wow, we went through like. Oh, there's only two. Yeah. Today we tell people history of philosophy to talk to pronounce that interesting. Phenomenology. Oh, you know what? I have heard of phenomenology. Uh, consciousness and the notion of rational freedom. Oh, yep. Okay. Today is cl uh, today a cloudy, muddly, brainy, really fighting off sickness, talks about satire, view on self. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Self. Um, what is it? Caring for oneself versus like caring for others, like us. No, us versus the individual, basically. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Turn that in because it's ready. Yeah, there you go. Who's worth your time? I fucking find this so interesting. Maybe for some of you out there, there's only one other person in this entire world that has full access to your true self hidden deep within you. <sighs> what Sarkar would say. I could make a whole video just on this god goddamn topic as well. Yeah, that's the meal right there. Button up. And pasta. Um, let me just tell you what it tastes like. So, realistically, it's a really simple meal. Mm. But with the around amount of salt and getting that thick, thicker, creamy consistency, I reckon it's oh, better than normal pasta, I would, I would say. Mmm. That is so good. I could have cooked pasta a little longer, I can. Or maybe it was just the top part that I had. So good.